City of God, first requested to me by Harry Frazier and directed by Fernando Marielles and Katia Lund, is a 2002 crime drama film based on a 1997 novel that takes place in the slums of Rio de Janeiro. The story shows the growth of various characters, most of which come from a place called the City of God. These characters are operating within an environment that is full of crime and violence as they find themselves in the middle of a gang war. As the situation worsens, one character attempts to document the conflict in the hopes of making a name for himself. All right, before we get started on this review, I want I want to quickly announce that I'm going to be focusing more on requests instead of new releases for a while because they're more popular with you guys and I have a growing list of requests that I've been needing to get to for a while now. Bearing that in mind, I've been looking forward to seeing several films on this request list and City of God was one of those films. I basically knew nothing about it, I mean, but I knew the person who requested it, shout out to Harry, who, you know, he was very passionate about it and he always makes good recommendations and he was asking me continuously, where's the City of God review? Well, here it is and I'm gonna say the City of God is definitely a movie you need to see if you haven't already because its performances, its atmosphere and drama are really, really strong. I mean, this is one of those films that pulls you in right from the get-go with his insane sense of atmosphere. It really quickly introduces you to the environment the characters find themselves in and how that environment greatly influences the choices they make along the way. I mean, the opening scene is a well-armed militia of gangsters chasing around a chicken around Rio de Janeiro. And then shit really goes down once a rival gang shows up, a rival group, that is. So from there, you follow a lot of different characters over the course of the film with a lot of them being known as what's called hoods. I mean, a hood is basically a troublemaker a person that finds themselves doing things like stealing, even worse things like murder, just someone who commits crime and is in trouble with the law basically. So the hoods in one way or another control the slums and they mostly go unchallenged by the police force that most of the time turns the other cheek because they're paid to do so. So this is one of those films where the environment is its own character. It's that much of a part of the film. The environment dictates so much of what happens in the film because it creates a climate that for the most part, is pretty lawless from my perspective. I mean, the characters mostly do as they please with little to no thought, you know, into their actions and how those actions will affect people outside of their immediate circle. So there's a lot here about the temptation of power, the role violence plays in our society, you know, how humans solve problems and more stuff about nature versus nurture type of things. I think what drew me in most to this film was how real it all felt. I mean. Every scene I felt like I was watching real people navigate real slums and committing crime to just survive basically. There's a feeling of desperation from most of them and there's also this cultural norm within those slums that influences the children growing up within it. I mean, violence is normalized, drugs are normalized. Crime in general is very normalized in this film. What I found so riveting about it was how real it all felt and how unfortunate the children that were born into this situation really were. I mean, I found myself invested in the characters and their stories throughout the whole thing. I mean, what's interesting about City of God is that you spend stretches of time, you know, learning the individual story of each pivotal character and how they developed into the person they ultimately become. I didn't always love this approach because at times I felt, you know, the non-linear nature of the story actually got in the way of the drama. I mean, I felt that, you know, a certain scene would set up a really cool moment where some shit was about to go down and then they cut away from that and say, okay, let's see how we got to this point. For me, I felt this approach at times, you know, it disrupted the momentum and the flow of the story, but still, I did like the devotion to each character and how the film took the time to flesh several of them out in a way, you know, that added depth to a lot of the conflict going on. What ultimately happens is the film shows how many of the characters are a victim of circumstance and how something bad happening to them can cause a domino effect that can then affect the others around them. It's pretty deep stuff, honestly. And when doing a little background research for this review, I saw that the filmmakers elected to use almost all amateur actors or non-actors altogether because they strive for authenticity. This is what I was talking about earlier in the review because everything feels so real. I mean, these almost don't feel like characters or people acting at all. They feel like real people trying to survive in a real world. The attention to detail in this film is just awesome and it makes for an incredibly immersive experience. But ultimately, City of God is definitely a movie you should check out if you haven't already, but it's not for the faint of heart. I mean, its subject matter is difficult, it's violent, and it doesn't hold anything back. There's a lot of bad things that happen in this film and they cut away from some of it and imply it and some of it they just straight up show you. So just prepare yourself for a really, really gritty film. As for the pros cons, for the pros, City of God nails its atmosphere and feelings of authenticity. It's dramatic through and through. The characters are all really interesting and it discusses a lot of complex themes. 
As for the cons, for me, I didn't always love the non-linear storytelling. It worked for me sometimes, others it didn't. I'm gonna give City of God a nine out of 10 and definitely recommend you check it out if you can handle the content. It's on Netflix for all interested. So have you guys seen City of God yet? If so, what did you think of it? If not, let me know whether this is a film you think you'd be interested in. I think that if you haven't, you should give this one a watch. It's a really well-made film and it should appeal pretty heavily to anyone who values that extremely gritty and authentic type of filmmaking. So if that's you, I think this one is definitely worth a watch. Either way, this is Wolf Oxification signing off. See you in the next review.